Welcome to Tech Assembler. And in this tutorial, we would be seeing how an checkbox works and what are its functionality and how can we customize it like we want some circular checkbox or a select all functionality. So how to implement these functionality? Let's see. Okay, so what is checkbox? Checkbox basically is a selection. Means you have given, you have been given a list and you want to be selected some items. So you can use the checkbox in that place. For example, uh, let's make it iron dash checkbox. So this is the default checkbox, what we are seeing over here. So this you can see. So I just give it some CSS inside item. So default checkbox. Okay. And here I just paste this. So it will look like this. So this is the default checkbox which we are seeing. If I just replicate it, for example, five times, so it becomes a list. So if we want to select something from a given list, so we use checkbox. So how to get these means how to get the element uh, respective to this checkbox. So for that we have an change functions uh, like this. So we have and change function so I can use over here and change change C capital okay so be aware of that capital case so on iron and you can use any uh, name over here I'm just using the same thing and you can pass the event so this is the default function which uh, iron checkbox has been using in ANIC and we can just specify over here okay I just copied the wrong thing this is and here we are just catching the event again so just console log it over here uh, I just change this to underscore iron change so that it is easy to identify that it is our function, not the default one, which we have created. And this is the default property. So let's see. So here is our event. So whenever I just clicked on it, so it just given the event and we have a detail under which we it is checked and the other are false. So by default, it is false. It is not showing. So this is how it shows. I just uncheck this box and it again turned to false. So this is how you can get the element over here and you can apply the CSS over here like you want uh, the color. So you can just apply over here primary or I can use the success. So you can see the success is green color or I can just change the danger. So it can be easily visible. So this is how you can see over here. So every time I just check or uncheck, so it uh, it uh, just gives me the event against it, the function associated with this. So we can make it dynamic also. For that, I have a dummy data over here. This is the data form in which we have objects, and that is value is something and is checked also because we have to bind this is checked value with our iron check box so how to use this so i just remove the other thing and just iterate over this item ng4 for that we use ng4 and we use the form for binding and i use the entry that's a variable name you can use it any and just change the default value to the entry val that is value for an item and for binding this with checkbox we use ng model so for ng model we use the entry dot is check okay so let's see how it looks perfect so whenever i click over here so it custom event is fired so that is iron change so it shows me that uh, checked is true okay 
So I again unchecked it and again the event is fired and the data detail is again checked is false. So this is how you can get the value has been checked or not. So I just tell you that for instead of this use your custom method. You can make your own for example. I just use the normal click function and here get selected item. So this is the name of my function and I just pass the entry means full item full item whichever item is being clicked and just go to my TypeScript file and catch this selected item over here and console it selected item so let's see how it looks so whenever I just click so it pops me the value okay so is checked is true over here but actually we are getting a false okay so if i just console over here dot is checked so let's see what we'll get so we'll get false because the false value is this is, uh, we are just iterating over here and we are just catching this value so to make it true means to dynamically make it true on every click like i and change so you just use the for loop over form dot for each and this is the item every item in the for loop so I do use the curly bracket and one condition if item dot val is equals to equals to selected item dot val means checking if the selected item and in the in our list we have something same that the value is same then what we need to do then item dot is checked equals to selected item dot is checked so if the item is false means by default it is false so we use the not sign over here so it just assign the true to item checked and I just console over here console dot log form so that it again gives a clear indication whenever I click so it is false by default it is false okay by default it is false what does that means if the selected item is checked okay mm-hmm let's see again okay why it is giving a false uh, it is not binding actually okay fine clear so whenever this is before this is before okay this is before the function whenever I click so this is before is false and after that it is true the same thing happens to it also so we have checked very prony and mushroom so both are true if I just uncheck it and let me clear it and I uncheck it so it turns to false so this is how you can get the specific value uh, over here and you can also uh, do one more thing uh, I have just saved the template over here okay I just copy this and paste it over HTML the same thing okay so let's see so this is the default value so what we are dealing with this is the default one and this is the disabled you can disable also even a checkbox so for that you don't have to do anything you just have to 
<clears throat> right disabled through you can bind it also from the backend like what we did just be, uh, a few times before okay so this is the checked means it is already checked so you can do this also so for that you just use checked attribute and pass it true okay so this is for the color you can use the color also this is the prime b secondary danger and this is how you can specify the color so like this okay and one more thing that i need to focus on so i just okay so this is on which i want to focus on and select all okay so for example you want to perform something and let it let me delete this okay let it refresh okay so this we want to achieve something like this if i select this the all select all will be uh, it all select the items and if all items are selected then if i unselect this so the item has been unselected so how to achieve this so i just already did it so let me replace it with the code okay so we just use this okay and in my logic i just did this let me explain you how this works okay if i just unselect one so the select all is also unselected so what i did i just used the two checkbox this is the one uh, which is the select all checkbox and this is the one uh, on which my list is been iterating so which i want to select so and on select all i use one function that is select all what this function do is it select all means it maps uh, i use the map function in which i just toggle the select all and uh, and put in each and every item in a list is checked for example if it is false then each and every item in the list is checked is equals to false so this is how all select works so it's just a normal toggle okay and on this on every element click so what i am doing i'm passing the element over here and on for each element i am just checking if this element value is equals to equals to to the form of uh, list item value so if these things are equal then just uh, toggle the is checked item with uh, if it is false false then turn it to true or make it to true and one more thing i'm checking over here is that for uh, every element i'm checking that if every element is checked means if all the checkbox in a list is true then make the select all equals to true else if some of the element in the list is equals to equals to false that is if uh, for example if three checkbox if one checkbox is unselected that is uh, is checked is false so it just turn the all select to false so this is the simple logic behind this you can use in your project also and i have some css we have some css over here also for example uh, you can change the background which you already did for example change the background to red so you can use it also so how to use so i just used it over here so what i did okay so this checkbox to black black in color so let's see how it looks okay 
fine. Um, okay. So this is how it looks. Okay, so the background color of the checkbox is set to black, so it doesn't look good. Okay, so the next thing is uh, you can also change the border radius. By default, it is a square, so you can make it like a circle. So for that, use the border radius 50%, or you can ch uh, change the check mark color. For example, you want the color of the tick to be yellow. So, is already 100% let me increase its size so here is one more property by which you can increase the size to any size that is it is 30 pixel so you can see this yellow color okay so this is the check mark color so this is how you can change the number of properties over here so this is all about uh, and checkbox Thank you for watching the video, please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates.